What if, despite all your hard work, your once crystal clear aquarium suddenly took on a mysterious amber hue? And what if I told you that this unexpected change could actually be a positive thing? Interested? Let's get started. So, what's the deal with this brown water? Well, technically we call it tannins. It's not just a fancy term, they're polyphenolic compounds found in plant materials like driftwood, leaves, seed pods, and even tree bark. Think of them as nature's protectors, binding with proteins to keep fungi and bacteria at bay. So a few years back, you know, back in the pandemic days, I remember setting up an aquarium with some driftwood and some almond leaves, and it all looked really cool. And I woke up the next day and my fish tank was this massive amber color. I remember panicking. I thought, is this normal? Is it going to hurt my fish? What on earth is going on here? And ultimately, what I didn't know is that it's all part of the science of tannins. But there's more. Tannins do more than just color your water. They play a significant role in water chemistry, particularly in blackwater aquariums. These organic compounds, naturally released from botanicals like leaves, pods and wood, gradually dissolve into the water, releasing acids that we call humic and fulvic acids. These acids not only lower pH, making the water more acidic, but they also soften the water by binding with minerals such as calcium and magnesium. This process is called chelation, where tannins latch onto these mineral ions, preventing them from hardening the water. Softening is crucial for blackwater fish like tetras and cichlids, which are adapted to low mineral environments. So by reducing the pH and buffering hardness, tannins actually help recreate conditions closer to the acidic soft waters found in the Amazon rivers, fostering better health and natural behaviors in fish. Beyond the effects of pH, humic substances have been shown to have mild antibacterial and antifungal properties, which can help prevent infections in fish. This is why many hobbyists believe that tannin-rich waters actually contribute in healthier fish, reducing the likelihood of diseases and giving fish a natural defiant system. Tannins also support the growth of beneficial bacteria, those little microbial heroes that keep ammonia and nitrate levels in check. These bacteria thrive in the mildly acidic conditions tannins create, breaking down organic waste and stabilizing the tank's ecosystem. It's like a built-in water treatment, helping keep harmful compounds at bay. This means that tannins are constantly working in the background, creating a healthier, low-stress environment for your fish without having to lift a finger. Even algae seems to be less aggressive in tannin water, as the lower light levels and acidic conditions make it harder for algae to overgrow the tank. So, while you may sacrifice a little water clarity, you gain a more balanced, self-sustaining environment that creates a less chemical intervention. Think of tannins as nature's own filter, working day and night to make sure your tank stays in harmony. Okay, so I need your help now. What is your take on tannins? Do you embrace the look or are you on a quest for a crystal clear tank? Make sure you drop your thoughts in the comments below. I really want to hear your views on this. Now imagine a tetra darting through dark tannin stained waters, feeling right at home. For many fish species, tannins act like a comfort blanket, creating an environment that mimics the dense shaded waters they evolved in. The rich amber tones reduce light penetration, which helps to lower the line of sight and create a sense of security for the fish. This is especially beneficial for naturally timid species like tetras, as the dark water helps them feel less exposed to predators, and then they're more inclined to display natural behaviors like schooling and foraging. But there is more than this comfort blanket. Tannins also reduce stress hormones such as cortisol. Studies suggest that fish in tannin-rich water experience reduced anxiety, likely because it resembles their natural habitats. This lower visibility also plays a role in breeding success by providing shelter and helping to protect vulnerable fry from being easily seen by predators or even tank mates. So, the tannins don't just stay in the water, they offer an authentic calm and sanctuary that encourages fish to thrive in ways that clear water simply can't. All right, I know people aren't a fan of the look, but you can manage tannins with a few tricks. So you can soak the driftwood before adding it to your tank, and that helps leach out some of the tannins, or you can give it a boil and then rinse and repeat. 
and if you're in a particular hurry you can also use a thing called activated carbon in your filter which helps uh, suck out all of the tannins from the water and that will just clear things up nicely for you. At the end of the day every tank has its own personality whether you're loving the natural look or aiming for that crystal clear aquarium understanding tannins is definitely key after all it is the science of keeping fish as close to their natural world as possible so maybe next time your tank decides to go amber just for a moment stop and embrace it thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time